Okay. Let's start. Here, obviously, it doesn't matter what you do. Just run. I think I'm gonna be doing guards pretty much all the way. Because I think spiders and phantoms scale very well. But once you have a good amount of command and uh, like gear, I think on a low gear, guards are gonna be better. But I guess we're gonna see. Like, that's the thing about this run, and this is also why I wanted to do it. It's because I am actually personally not even sure what I'm exactly gonna go for. So it should be uh, interesting. Leveling and order calling is actually a bit harder than charge calling. Well, not harder, longer. Uh, I think it's actually easier here, but it's longer because you summon one minion with each cast, and on charge calling you summon like three, two or three, depending on the level. So obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to use two minions instead of one, because you just are way stronger at the beginning. And you always want to summon minion once you have a full overload to trigger the overload, because overload gives a ton of damage. So you just wait for it to be full, summon any random minion, overload just gives you a ton of damage for your minions. And tutorial done. Skip, skip. First thing I'm looking for is a sword with 1.6 attack speed or axe with 1.5. Uh, sword is crude iron sword. That's basically my goal. Now I have third minion. So at this point you can go for either three minions or for mobility skill. I think here I'm gonna go for third minion because there's gonna be a boss. It really, it really doesn't matter. You can go either for mobility skill or a minion. I'm just gonna go for it. For a third one. And first talent. We're gonna go obviously cut of machines and just go for minion damage. Rusted Bronze Sword. Okay, that's a actually decent first drop. So I'm just gonna equip them. Uh, so as you can see, this hammer has 1.1 1 .1 attacks per second. This one has 1.5, which means it's much faster. So when I'm gonna use a leap attack or spiral strike, you can do one or the other, it doesn't really matter which one. I'm gonna be way faster with these swords. And it's very hard to get any sort of damage on minions uh, on a low level, unless you get in the lucky soul. So it doesn't really matter what kind of weapon you are using. So you might as well focus on getting uh, as much attack speed on your weapon as possible. For example, this hammer is probably pretty slow, so I'm not gonna go for it. On boss, remember to activate overload. And the boss is dead. Um, Lotus Journey, okay, that's a pretty lucky drop. What the fuck? I just dropped a legendary from the first. Okay, 20 all res. I mean, obviously, you're not gonna use have that early on, but trust me, it doesn't really matter. If you think, like, oh, he got go just got lucky, it doesn't really do that much. <laughs> Streamer client, yeah. It doesn't really do that much. Defense is uh, not something that you really need early on. So in two levels, I'm gonna unlock the mobility skill. Here I'm actually gonna swap to mobility, because here I no longer need that much damage. 
So I'm actually gonna use Spiral Strike. To be honest, recently I've been liking Spiral Strike a bit more. And I like to swap this for... Oh, I actually can't. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it is decently fast, but it's not like crazy fast. And just run. Let minions kill everything. We don't have to kill everything, right? So let them kill a few monsters on the way. You don't have to focus. Trigger overload. Kill a big guy. Oh, amulet. I guess I'm gonna pick it up. Items don't matter that much. There's barely any minion uh, stats early on. So gear, when you're playing a minion build, does not matter that much. Like I said, the only thing that really matters is... Uh, Weapons, fast weapons. So far, my minions are not dying, so that's a good thing. Um. Skip. And then, as we can see, I can have to resummon my minions each zone. That's why it would be way better on charge calling because char charge calling is summoning two or three minions at the same time. So that's why he is a bit faster. Always open chests because chests during leveling can give you like a big uh, epic or uh, blue items. Level up skills. You don't have to. Yo, thanks for. Uh... Bit zero to hero, yeah. I, I'm not sure if I should be calling it zero to hero because zero to hero usually you go for like a big goal in terms of DPS. I mean, uh, like currency. Here it's just Traveler 7, but the thing is about Traveler 7 is once you kill him, you can just grind uh, Dark Surge in Tamarack 7, which means you can get pretty much as much currency as you want. Yes, what do you mean? Zero to maps? Well, not really, because I am also gonna do the... Uh, like the boss, right? It's kind of like zero to Shaper, I guess? Compared to PoE? Like if you would compare it to PoE? Okay, now I have three talents. One, two, three. Skill. And now I can take here a third minion and here a Sparrow Strike. Now my minions are dying, but it's fine. And yeah, that's annoying part. Or each zone you have to resummon all of your minions. Should I check leap attack? Let's check leap attack if it's actually gonna be slower. Skills. It's kind of the same. I don't know, what do you guys think? Sparrow Strike or Leap Attack? It feels very similar. Here, just run around. Crude Iron Sword, perfect. So now I'm not gonna swap my weapons pretty much until the end of campaign. Uh, maybe even more. Unless uh, I got maybe like an interlocking soul or something and I'm gonna need damage, then I'm gonna do it. Here, don't worry about killing. Unless you are like way uh, low, low level, 
you shouldn't really have to worry about leveling up and killing monsters. So this zone is level 6 and I am level 7. So I am perfectly fine on levels. I can uh, skip everything. Leap goes over walls, but Spiral need less mouse movement. Yeah, and Spiral is also a bit easier to use in my opinion. It always has like a set range. It means it's easier to dodge both abilities because sometimes on bosses you are like leap attacking in uh, place. And overload. Fuck, he teleported. Two more talents. I don't really uh, put talents like every single point. It is kind of annoying to do that this way. Here. Can take like a first few items. Boots with movement speed. So you're gonna be a little bit faster. Cube. I think cube I'm gonna mostly be skipping. Uh, until I go to act, I think, 2 or 3. Because that one you can also start getting some memories and relics. Order Moto pretty good for... Uh, and both Order Calling and uh, Gemma are good. Both of them would be my like top pick. Out of all of the free to play heroes, Next time, take good care of yourself. See, as you can see, I am not really killing everything. And single target is pretty crazy, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, skill slot vacant. Uh, here, you want to go precision strike. It gives 26 area damage. This gives more, but it reduces your attack speed. So personally, I think precision strike is the best one. Here, I'm also going to change it. Servant damage is literally one of the use most... Well, not one of his actually is the most useless skill. Like, it only gives 15% damage. Like, Steam Rogue is 32. Like, what the fuck is this? You could go Maniacal Army. This way, you would not have to use three minions. You only would have to use two. And you could use um, Dark Gate. But it doesn't really matter. Must have one 8k. Nice. Today also, in case you are wondering, I tried to craft the helmet that I got really yesterday. Off stream I tried to craft it. I spent 1000 FE on targeted processing and I didn't get a single uh, tier 3, tier 2 or tier 1 erosion res. So I have literally zero money right now on my main account. I'm poor. Yes. How much of it do I farm? Usually like a thousand. If I get lucky, up to two thousand. Depends how much I'm farming, but to be honest, I think I am kind of done. 
I am getting bored of Papa the Brave. This is also why I today did spend so much money on the helmet. I think I am gonna be starting to play Order Calling and I'm gonna do some mapping. I'm still gonna play Charge Calling, don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna try to gear him up by play, playing Order Calling. Also, I am able to do Path of the Brave level 5 now. I did test it yesterday, I actually can do it, I did it like 3 times. But it is kinda slow, and I am kinda dying. Uh, and I didn't really change anything. I guess I just didn't uh, play properly. Last time I did it. So I think... Uh, and that's why I, was, I wanted to craft the helmet, because I need erosion resist for the level 5. So if I got erosion res, I would be uh, way... It would be way easier. Um, yeah, it's definitely way harder. I mean, I still like it, but yeah, it is very RNG now and very costly. I mean, to be honest, I'm crafting like a GG helmet, right? Like, absolutely top helmet that I'm gonna use until the end of the season. So, it kind of makes sense that it would be this expensive. Mm. Order has been your favorite mapper. The issue with Order and any minion build is that it's just kind of slow compared to the uh, uh, like regular builds, non-minion builds. Act. Right now I'm not clicking anything. Um. Wait, early calling is better than third calling? I think to start, I think third calling is better. If you want to like reach the high tier maps. Uh, charge calling is better, but overall, I think they are very similar once you get a good investment. And order calling is a bit better for mapping. Not that much better, but a bit better. Yeah, order is pure summoner. I use savage rush. Yeah, like there is a lot of like attack based uh, builds that are crazy fast. And because attack based builds scale at attack speed, eventually they get crazy fast. Right, and with minions, you don't scale attack speed, which means you will never be as fast as uh, the attack builds. Also, is anyone else uh, having issues with my FPS on stream, or is it just one person? Is via stream fine? Like, I am uh, like stuttering from time to time, like very rarely, but that's just the game. Overall, it should be fine. I don't know. I did change some settings today, so there could be something wrong, but... Um, there's so much charge calling Motanus this season, or... Yeah, you can go. Stream is a bit laggy looking. Let's see now. Unlock Mark FPS, maybe. Let's see what we think now. Mm, dark Gate. And if you die, it doesn't really matter. Now you should have last talent to be able to take this. Exactly the decision we need right now. Spark, my sword. Yeah, it could be because of a new account. Oh shit, it is lagging, now I see.
Was it still bad with Vsync on? No, bitrate should be fine. It's still bad, right? They're locking, so you pretty much always drop it very early. It worked. This is definitely for the build, for this build, it's the worst moment. Like, early game is super easy, and once I reach level 20, it also starts becoming easy. But like between level uh, like 10 and 19 is where you're gonna struggle. As you can see, my minions are starting to die very often. At some point, they're just gonna stop dying. I don't see a fee. Do I have a, like a bad loot filter? Yeah. None. But yeah, from now it should be fine. Hope stream is fine, I hope. Sound is fine, and so on. Same for command, it's gonna be so easy to get 100%. Yeah, I think uh, these slates with uh, order and uh, chaos, so the chaos ones, are very good for it. But at the same time you are losing, well not losing, you are not gaining damage from order. Right? So it's kind of a choice. Do you get easy command or you get the order buff? I do have some ideas for early game. We'll see. Pact point trial I guess let's do trial actually no you need I think level 12 for the first trait 13 okay so let's get one more level and then I'm gonna do the trial Yeah, definitely some command slides are pretty good. We'll see what I'm gonna go for. Yeah, as you can see, my minions are just constantly dying. So at this point, I do have interlocking soul. I dropped it from a boss, and I could equip it. Right, and it would give me a lot of damage. Well, I could equip it to level 15. I can't equip it now. Um, but as long as you just don't struggle with damage, you don't really need it. And with uh, two fast swords, you just move so much faster. So in my opinion, it's actually better to just use swords. Just for speed. Okay, now I'm gonna do the trial.
Go for this, this. Skill slot. Aura. Goes for mobility. I don't think there's anything else at this point, yeah. Pretty easy trial. I might as well go for another one. If I can do it, that's just one additional talent point, so... If you can do it, go for it. If not, skip it for now. It is easier on order calling because... Uh, I mean, charge calling. Because you don't care about your minions dying on charge calling. If you detonate them. Actually, I should take the hero trade, right? Make it easier. Nice, easy. Plus one talent. And I'm not gonna go for an Auron. Now I'm also summoning them way faster, which is also obviously nice. My damage is still perfectly fine. Perfect. There's only one last thing to do. Hey, a machine also needs to rest. That also looks suspicious. Let's check it. That should be the last one. Okay, the first annoying boss for this one, we can see, just run around, and yeah, it's just gonna die eventually. Just overload, dark gate, and that's it. Need seven more levels. And everything is gonna be way more smooth. Why they are just dying constantly? It's so annoying to have to resummon them more constantly. You shouldn't be 
<laughs> he just killed all of them with one ability. Okay. The worst fight in the game. Well, not worst one. Worst one is Keegan, in my opinion. This is definitely still annoying. Is running King are worth more than it's cost? I mean, if it's not worth running, why would anyone buy them and do them? That's what I would ask. So probably in the long run it's worth running, but you might just get unlucky if you run it like a few times and you don't get anything. But I think, if anything, probably the Uber one is uh, better. Gambling? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is more of a gamble. Just a quick, a random item, most for more survivability, this for movement speed. Got black gold, so I can spend it here. I don't see anything useful. Maybe this. Why not? You boss. Much better. I have to try him at some point. I mean, I did kill the uh, one and two cores. I still haven't killed the three. I'm pretty sure I can kill him right now. I just don't feel like doing it. We actually don't have to kill all of them. Let's run. How many talents I have? So now I'm gonna take. It's nothing crazy here. I need level 15, so I'm probably just gonna take life.
I do feel like when I was on charge calling, I was uh, leap attacking faster during this point. Let's check my weapons. Yeah, they are 165. Hmm. Maybe I'm just used to the mapping speed now. That's why it feels slower. I'm 15. So at this one I could use interlocking soul. Let's see how much attack speed do I have. One point eighty seven. When I equip this, this film. Hmm. Wonder if it's different if you put it as a main hand. It's the same. Yeah, it definitely feels faster. I think at level 15, a little bit of damage is actually kind of useful. So I think maybe for now I'm going to use it, but I'm going to remove it once I hit level 20. It's all about just having enough damage to being able to kill stuff fast. Once you don't need more damage, just go for uh, fast swords. And I also maybe should use a region aura instead of swiftness. Because uh Because now with interlocking soul I'm constantly losing life, yeah, so region aura is actually useful. If you want to, you can do void rift, but I think they are kind of a waste of time. Guess three talents, pretty good. One, two, three. Something's going on up ahead. Partner, I'll scout ahead. I can see you. Skill slot. Still a doer. Uh quick mobility. When you have level three, always make sure that you uh maybe can buy 
higher level one, so that's what I could do. I have 20 energy also, so I can put Steamroll here. Actually, I'm not even 100% sure if Steamroll would be the best one. It's definitely a good one, but something like Precision Strike or Assault Command could also be pretty good. Where am I going here? Three more levels. And uh, everything is gonna be way easier. The residential area is to the west of the plaza. One more level. Don't go through the barriers or I'm just gonna die. Here I have to wait. So here leap attack is definitely way better than spiral because you can actually like, leap through these uh, like areas way better. Like here, just go over the ledges. The last time I'm gonna have to resummon my minions after they die. We're no longer gonna be dying next level. I'm trying to reach level 20 before this next boss, but it's probably not going to happen. So now I am killing a bit more monsters. level very close one eh, but boss still dies pretty fast so now level 20 is the biggest swap so what we do at this point we take the talents. The last point you can put either here for more uh, like command and minion life or here for your own life. It literally doesn't matter where you put it in. I'm gonna put it for command because I want damage. Here, more damage and level. And this is very important because with plus two and with plus one, you reach level. 
Wait, this is level 8. Yeah, level 9, because now I am leveling them up. And I'm pretty sure it's level 9 when you unlock... Um, ...plus 1 minion. Also, you can uh, now switch to damage instead of resist. So you get a ton of damage from here. It is level, yeah, level 9. Exactly level 9 is what you require to be able to summon 3 minions with one skill. So now, you can change this for Maniacal Army. This way, you're gonna be able to summon 4, which means now, you can use Mechanical Modification, and you're still gonna summon 2, but now they are gonna be big minions. So you do it the same thing here. And for the third one you still can't do it because you don't have energy. So in like seven levels. So now I am summoning... Uh, and here you also can't take anything. Now I am summoning four big minions and two smalls. And at this point you no longer really need damage anymore. So you can go back to not interlocking soul. Or you can still use interlocking soul. It's really up to you. Just make sure to not summon more with VSW, because these are gonna be a small minions. Yeah, you deal way more damage now. And also they have way more life, which means they are no longer gonna die. And now you have a... Uh, actually, I, you, you could do it even earlier, but I forgot. Uh, you can put on Frost Spirit and Thunder Spirit. Frost Spirit is going to give you some mana regen, so you're not going to have to worry about mana. And Thunder Spirit is going to give you attack speed, which means you're going to leap attack faster. And also, obviously, they uh, can attack themselves. But look, I'm definitely leap attacking faster. You can uh, definitely not do the difference. Move on to the next zone. Leveling is definitely gonna be the most annoying part of this. Because it's just going through campaign without any issues. Just time consuming.
This boss is actually kind of tanky. But he still dies super fast. Move some levels. For talents. Okay, so now I am going machinist. Minion damage. More pact for more damage. Just gonna keep showing uh, skills so that they can because uh, you don't have anything on Dark Search, I mean Dark Gate, but you unfortunately can't put anything in there. I think in like two levels I'm gonna be able to change my third minion into a big guy. Okay, this boss is super uh, funny. Just stay in the middle and he's already dead. <laughs> Now he's gonna be like charging around and so on, but he just doesn't do anything, he's already dead. Just have to wait for it. Next. What is this blue quest? Best. My just take them already. Oh, I don't care about this weapon because it's very slow. Like, you get weapons with uh, minion damage, right? But you don't care about this because it's just so slow. Two handed weapons, you don't want to equip them. I wish one-handed hammers could uh, roll minion modifiers. I don't know why they can't. So machines, that's a skip. So 10k points, but can't redeem anything. What kind of points? Do you mean the uh, Twitch points? The channel points? Yeah, I have to work on them. I don't know, I just don't really have any like, good ideas for the channel points. Okay, now I can put this here, on the third one. Can come modification, Manical Army, because it's higher level. Wait, that's level 5. Level 7. Talents, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pact. 
So now we have even more damage. I don't remember at what level you get aura on the weapon amplification. I think it's later. Look at the damage, and that without interlocking, so that's why I always just remove it. There's no reason to equip it during the campaign, it just makes you slower. If you are on low life, like I am right now, if anything, eventually you're just gonna level up, so you're gonna heal yourself for leveling up, or you're just gonna die, <laughs> and it doesn't really matter, you're just gonna die, and uh, yeah, you're gonna be back on full health. Barely got through it. Look at my HP. <laughs> but I live. All you need is one HP. As long as you don't die, you're fine. I am a low life build. I mean, just why the campaign is uh, very, very easy on both order and charge calling. Like once I'm gonna reach map, that's when it's gonna start falling off. But you at that point can get some few cheap upgrades, and you're gonna be good. Or not even cheap, just like self dropped. I don't even look like the items, like, don't have to worry about them. All you need is uh, damage through your skill points, and that's it, and talents and pacts. Here I am probably gonna die at some point. Yo, morning. Second interlocking soul. I've 
We will buff the chances this leak. What do you mean the chances for what? Interlock? Oh yeah, I mean overall you get a lot of legendaries during leveling. Which I think is fine. Getting your first few items... Whatever. And you don't really need those items, it's just nice to have them. Imagine if in PoE everyone for killing uh, Merveil would get Tabula. That would be crazy. But it also would be fun. I wouldn't mind if they did that. Like, I actually wouldn't mind. Maybe not Act 1, maybe for like Act 2 or Act 3 boss. Wanderlust, yeah, it doesn't have to be like a big damage, something like useful, right? Or maybe some kind of class specific, like if you are playing a caster, you would get some kind of wand. If you play a uh, attack build, you get some kind of weapon. Legendary. Because that's also what's fun about PoE, that you have this randomness, right? And sometimes when you get something crazy early, you're like, holy shit, that's gonna be a good run. Sometimes it gets unlucky and you still can go through it, it's just gonna be harder. This is just an annoying quest. I was god of machines this league. I mean, the um, talents god of machines? I mean, it's pretty good. It's the same as last time. We didn't really change anything with god of machines. Let's do the challenge. The time to level more turns to I actually think I am almost done with Torchlight, not like close as in like one day, two days, but as in like up to a week, and I think I'm gonna go back to PoE for a bit. Because in Torchlight, I do, I am at, I am at the point where I really need some big money for upgrades, and I know that I'm not gonna play it for like a shit ton of time because of Diablo, so I know that I'm not gonna be able to buy all of them, so I might as well give up. <laughs> but yeah, I still wanna play Order Calling, I still want to get like few upgrades at least. We have what? 14 days? 
7, 14, 15, 16 days. So we're probably gonna play for like 7 more days Torchlight and then 11 days PoE. Yeah, give or take, obviously. Maybe I am gonna drop some GG item like Box or uh, Eternity and I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna uh, make a lot of money and I'm gonna have more fun in Torchlight. Or maybe I'm just gonna get annoyed with stuff and... Uh, I'm just gonna quit. Attack on Caspi, that's actually good. Mobility. Look how fast I am. Three talents. Minion damage. Okay, finally can put this. I want cooldown reduction. New hero trait. Okay, so here you can go for overload effect or duration. And early on, you just want to have overload up. As far as often as possible, so it's better to go for the bottom one. Later, once you have like very good cooldown recovery, duration increase, and so on, you can drop it and you can go for the top one. Unfortunately, with this run. I don't know what I am gonna do. I can go for Machinist and Warlock or Machinist and Alchemist. I think I am gonna go for Warlock. Because you kinda need Machinist, you can't really drop Alchemist. Because Machinist gives you plus one. And you get four from skills. You get one from Machinis and you get one for Maniacal Army. And I'm probably not gonna be able to buy boots because they are kind of expensive. So. I should do Q a, a bit because I think at this point you can start getting the relics and some slates. It's so annoying having to resummon minions every single time, every single zone, but it's just something you have to do. go for more. I'm gonna go for this until I get the relic. Resonating with the spark. We should be very close. 
Come on, give me a relic. Nice. Question is, what kind of a relic? Movement speed, minion life. Okay, that's horrible one, but... Wait, is that a memory? Wow. Some memory, so I can't even use it. Movement speed. Movement speed. I'm just going for mobility, so... This point, and now we can go back to the crate. You are the worst student I have ever had. The banner of the sun will fall today. Watch out, the statue on the bridge has come to life. Wonder if I would even use um pedigree on this build. Because losing the four command generation from Mighty Guard is kinda big. But also slowing your minions from mesomorphic arms is kinda bad. Now I can swap. Actually, no. Uh, I'm gonna wait two more levels and then I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna equip the weapon application then. Here, you don't really get anything, so just go for crit. Just leveling charge motto for the first time. I have like 150 star budget. What's the first item you should go for? There is no like first item you should go for. You should go for like 5 FE everything. Right? Like, get a decent like helmet with resist life, minion damage, enchanted. Get the uh, gloves with uh, resist life, maybe life region. Get chest with minion max life, minion damage, region. I mean, not region, uh, resist and life. Get slates with minion damage, maybe minion crit, minion life. Get hero memory, hero relics with uh, minion uh, life, minion crit. I mean, bre like, <laughs> the uniques is something you shouldn't really aim for early. Like, early. You spend all of your money on uh, rare items, just slates, relics, and so on. But yeah, eventually you go for big items. So you start with like boots, for example. Breastpin you go for later because breastpin is uh, pretty fucking expensive. So you just start with the uh, cheaper ones, right? Belt, for example, is decently cheap. So the Winter of Origin. But boots and craft one slave like you are and reach 500 million DPS, yeah. Boots are pretty good because they allow you to drop Maniacal Army. And they give you plus one minion. 
level. And a lot of armor. But yeah, definitely slates is like the biggest thing you can go for, some like minion crit, minion life. Like you're gonna see with this build, like I'm gonna level a charge co a order calling, I'm gonna reach months, and you're gonna see like the first updates on upgrades I'm gonna be going for, it's mostly gonna be slates. Probably. Okay, here, there's nothing really else that I can go for. So I'm just gonna go for uh, life. Why I went for spider instead of grim? Because spiders you summon yourself, which means you can summon them way faster than grim phantoms summon themselves. Grim phantoms summon themselves every one second. And you can just spam summoning when you use them yourself. And spiders will deal more damage because they have a buff. Six percent additional damage per spider. There. Pretty soon I'm gonna start playing less because I'm gonna ride Max Roll Guide for V-Charge Calling and update some of my old guides. Probably tomorrow I'm gonna start doing it. Maybe even today, depends how I feel after the stream. I wanted to do that yesterday, but I fell asleep. And I woke up at 3 a.m. today. What the fuck are you supposed to do here? Oh, he interrupted me. And also you can use them like, you can use one spider, one green for example. This way you have still a little bit of automated DPS. So it really depends how much single target you need and how much uh, convenience you will prefer to have. I like, don't want to press summoning minions buttons at all. You just go for the... Phantoms. You want more damage? Go for the spiders. Good for survivability. Okay, I think now I can take, yeah. Uh, this plus one, which means now I can go to my scales and I can 
drop the maniacal army. Buy again one, two, three. One, two, three. Here, weapon amplification. And let's go here. Precision strike gives a little bit of attack speed. Or actually, hmm. I could go here for extended duration, but I don't think you'll need extended duration anymore. Yeah, let's keep it this way. Doesn't really matter what you go for at this point. 690. Yeah, for bossing you want to use spiders and for mapping uh, phantoms, that's what I have been doing. For like super hard tier 8, I would go for one phantom, one spider. Because then you have like a good single target if you when you need it, when you like find for example the incarnation boss or something, or a good or a hard map boss, you still have a good single target. But you still have good clear for uh, just going through a map. Reflection? Reflection is actually pretty decent, yes. It really depends on the price. If it's like below 50 FE, it's, it's fine. It's a nice replacement for uh, the locking soul. Because it doesn't uh, cost life to use your minions if you use it. But you're gonna be also very slow when you use it, so... That's the issue. The discontent of defeat burns within me, and it incinerates their minds and flesh. Only the Almost done with the story. I don't think I need uh, this thing anymore, right? Oh, it got turned off, okay. Almost died right there. Challenge me at my prime. More talents. 150 of you, what are you doing wrong? Probably not playing that much, or are you doing the wrong mechanics? Are you farming tier 7 Dark Surge? 
And how much are you playing per day? Because you always see like these uh, people who have like shit ton of currency and so on, like me, but you have to remember that we just, we just play a shit ton, right? So you might just not be playing as much, that's it. But that's another reason why I am doing this project. So you can see how to make currency early on, how to reach Traveler 7. And uh, I'm gonna also probably do a little bit of farming afterwards. Even if you do not look up to the sun, you still can't escape its radiance. As if they're calling almost 95 doing easily tier 7. Yeah. Start calling is probably gonna scale a bit better, but for just mapping, order calling is actually pretty good. Like I am now at a point when now I am gonna start getting weaker and weaker. This is like my peak <laughs> during the leveling. After this, I'm gonna. There's no more like big upgrades at this point. So now I'm gonna start losing uh, damage with each level. It's fucking animation. Wait, is an ocean of rock actually decent? A lot of life. Here you can also jump through uh, ledges, so you can't jump through this one, but you can jump through this one for some reason. I think this one is just too high. And I, as you could see, I was like, throughout the entire campaign, I was not equipping like, almost any items. Don't really need any items during the campaign. Besides the reflection in the pond, I can't. So rude. Your girl is waiting for you where the sun rises. Sometimes fantasies do come true. Sometimes fantasies do come true. I wonder if you know your relics and memories.
Knife is normal, but I dropped three for interlocking soul. Yeah, you dropped actually quite a lot of them. <laughs> I dropped already two. But I'm not even using them, as you can see. I'm using swords. Because you don't really need any damage on uh, minion builds. Like, interlocking soul is a very good item, but it just makes you much slower. Like, I prefer to be faster. You have already enough damage. To kill everything without even interlocking souls. I'll get this. This is without interlocking soul. And look how fast this boss is gonna die. And it's done. And next... Done. So yeah. <laughs> no interlocking souls needed. And also, they don't have energy if you drop them very early. So actually, we'll want to replace them later. Anyway. And the last boss. First phase over. I'm probably gonna die here, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. I can just go back. I played better, I probably wouldn't have died. Just didn't care about surviving. Another interlocking soul, and this one has energy. Belt. Crafted ones with minion. Yeah, ones are pretty good. It's just with ones you cannot use leap attack, right? But if you have good cooldown recovery and so on, you don't also really need leap attack. And now we go for the last two. Acts. One hour thirty minute to finish the story. It's probably gonna be like another half an hour to finish the the two filler acts. These two acts are like very fun on this build, because you just run through them, automatically kill monsters on the way, kill map boost, next, 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 it's just super fast. I'm gonna be done in, uh, in no time.
I'm trying to still get some uh, hero memories, hero relics. Ten K hours in PoE, but you're struggling here. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't played this game yet, then yeah, definitely you can struggle because the game is like decently different. But no worries, shouldn't take you too long. I, to be honest, personally, I've watched like a lot of streamers playing through like one league, two leagues in this games, so, like first season, second season. And to be honest, I remember when I played this game first time, and yes, I did have some issues the first time, like my first character and so on. But immediately my second character, I was already like doing super well and I didn't really struggle. And I was just blasting through every season without any issues from that point on. I feel like I have not, for some reason, I have not been struggling in this game as hard. I feel like I can, uh, I'm probably not like super great at PoE or uh, Torchlight as in like, like there are definitely people that are better than me, but one thing I feel like I'm good at is like adapting to a new action RPG. So for example, Diablo 4 is gonna release. I think I'm gonna be able to like solve it pretty fast, what to do and so on. Maybe not like the best builds, but I will at least make like a build or a good character and uh, reached end game within a decent amount of time. Playing PO this game is a cakewalk. I feel like it depends on the person. Like for some people it's gonna be very easy to adapt, for some people not. It just something has to click in your brain, I think. For you to start understanding how this game works. Okay, I got the memory. Skill duration, we are attacking Spark House. Okay, that's a good one, but I still need a relic to equip it. Probably I'm gonna start picking up uh, items with energy. Now yeah, because my damage is a little bit worse now. Still not like bad. But it's slowly falling off. One upgrade alone you can gain. Yeah, the issue with this game is sometimes. There is like one upgrade that you don't realize exists and it's very cheap and it can like triple your DPS even sometimes and you spend like 500 FE on some upgrade and it's gonna give you 10% more damage and you thought it's gonna be insane and then you buy some random upgrade where you like see oh this item gives me 10% more crit or something oh whatever it's just gonna a little bit damage and then you check your DPS and it's like 40% more and you're like what the fuck I really think this game needs something like POB. Like, yes, today I was like testing some stuff, and yeah, there were some things that did not make sense, like why certain things would give me so much damage. What have I'm looking for at the start? So, as you can see right now, I don't even. Well, it depends what you mean by start, like at what point start. As like right after the campaign, right before a campaign finished. Okay, I got the hero relic, hero memory. Or like in tier 7s. Hmm, gain command when you click overload, that's a decent one.
Okay, let's go for uh, this one. So like for example right now I am just using white swords because they have a high attack speed. You don't really need minion damage early on on your weapons. But that's why I'm asking what do you mean by uh, what weapon you're looking at the start. Like during the campaign, during like tier 1 maps, during tier 7 maps, after you're done with uh, tier 7. And then if you to play order, I wanna see how much is skill built. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm not gonna play that much, right? Like this is basically a one day character. Like this project is gonna take a day. I'm not gonna. I'm basically gonna go to tier seven, and I might do a little bit of tier seven mapping just to show you how to get your early currency, and that's it. This is basically to show you how to get your build going, how to start playing the game, right? Oh, minion damage and attack speed. So like that's... I am at the point... Hmm... Maybe this one is better? Yeah, I don't think plus one overload is that great, to be honest. One command... I guess it's... Maybe per minion, so I assume it's like 6 or 8, but it's still kind of low. I think minion damage is better at this point. Wait, and this one has the two slots. Uh, I guess crit. Steam offline error. Mm, I didn't get any message. I don't know, to be honest. Why you are getting this error? I am not even playing for Steam. Actually, no, I am opening with Steam. But I am logging in later with the uh, Google. Maybe there is some issue with binding your account to Steam or something. Maybe you should unbind it and bind it again. Plus minus better character compared to my max or guide during tier 7, but struggling to get past 20 melee on DPS. Yeah, that's why also I am gonna play this build later on my main account. Like, I'm gonna just go up to tier 7, show you what to do early mapping, and then I'm gonna move to my main account. I'm gonna make a new character over there. And I'm gonna try to figure out what to go for with like gear and stuff because I haven't played order coring in a while so I need to like figure it out again I'm gonna see if my guide is outdated or not or is everything fine yeah I don't know I am not a tech support I can't really help you with that if anything, I would just suggest messaging the support, right? Like, I don't, I don't know how to help you. Why not make order on my account now? Because I wanna also do this. I wanna basically, for, just for fun and uh, for people, to show how to play on, like, from zero, starting with nothing. And I'm probably gonna level up off stream on my new main account. And it's gonna be super fast because I'm just gonna equip gear and it's, it's gonna take way faster than this. Even though this is already pretty fast.
your pure physical yeah going erosion is a big change definitely should try to get the rings then you're gonna fit the erosion enhancement aura i think for this build it's not gonna be worth it to go for elemental shock and the elemental version because you already are using dark gate and uh, elemental army which are not good for charge calling but elemental shock is good for charge calling that's why going elemental i think is good But the Rosen is probably pretty good on order calling. farm for conversion yeah once you have like i don't know boots maybe belt the next upgrade probably should be rings so on this character i'm probably not gonna even gonna get up to this point like i'm basically the goal of this is to show you that you don't need to buy any like a legendary like unique items that are expensive to farm tier 7 dark search and if you are able to farm tier 7 dark search you can farm as much currency as you want at this point and you can just eventually afford all of the uniques. Overload cooldown recovery, that's a very good one. And minion attack and cast on Oh, but it's one slot. Why does it have only one slot? I guess the other one is was dog shit anyway, so I might as well just stay with one slot. Okay. I'm going uh, Warlock, I'm pretty sure. you know but I'm still going uh, machinist for now Give me a second. Okay, so what the fuck minion aura actually does? Because I've been testing it. And I could also we try I think we tried to message the devs, but they didn't answer. Is it like minions auras provided by minions or auras affecting minions? Minion aura effect, like what the fuck does that mean? Have you like actually tested what it does?
If it's increased effect of auras on minions, zero DPS increase, the uh, I uh, think it was like a little bit when I tested it. But nothing too crazy. It's definitely not like good. I think it might be straight up just bugged, to be honest. Cooldown recovery and overall cooldown recovery. Seventeen. Oh, and it has two slots. But I don't have space. I'm gonna lock this one, lock this one. Uh, lock this one. Oh wait, this is... I didn't even know that it gives command. Wait, this is big. One command every second for two seconds. Actually, no, it's every second. Nah, it's bad. I thought it's a one command every time they land crit. It's kind of bad. Um... Okay, everything else can be salvaged. And now steamroll. Talent. Here I want to equip this one. Oh, I don't. Okay. So first few points in Warlock don't really do much. So I'm going to continue putting points in here. Uh, or God of Machines. I think I'm going God of Machines. I'm 47, so that's fine. Almost done with the uh, story. 
Most important thing is obviously when I how I'm gonna be progressing through the campaign, right? Resists. I don't think I'm even gonna uh, roll for any pets and stuff. I might get a bit of inventory space from the three crystals. So that's a bit annoying. Ten energy. Like at this point on gear, I don't even care about stats that much. I just look at how much energy they have. So I can add additional links to my skills. And in uh, two levels, I'm gonna be able to remove um, third minion. So I'm gonna use only two of them and I'm gonna use Maniacal Army for even more damage. What build I'm gonna do? I mean, there's no real, like, a choice. You just do <laughs> minions. And you literally can fl flip between them at any point you want. There's no, like... I don't know, when you're playing Rehan, there is, like, a lot of choice. You can go Whirlwind, Flame Slash, you can, um... Do, like, a charge or something. Just a lot of, like, different, like, type of scaling for all of them. And when you're playing minion build, you're just playing minion build. <laughs> yes, later, I guess, with like more currency, you can specialize in something. But early game, like up to like a traveler, there's no like difference what you go for because there is no that much choice. Auction House is global? Yeah, it is. Auction House is global. Um, but it's without China, and last se season China apparently was also with us. So, but it's I think it's just rumors. I don't know if it's actually confirmed that that's how it was. So that could be the reason because there is a separate uh, Asia and China server. There are two different ones. Like China and Asia is not the same. Yeah, it is very slow. There's like almost no items. And that's also another reason why I'm partially thinking about going back to PoE. Because there were some items I wanted to buy and there was like 10 of them on trade. Now there's like one or two. And because of that they are priced very high because they have done no competition. So it just makes some items so much ex so much more expensive than they should be. Like, it doesn't really matter early game, because there's still a ton of items, like up to a few hundred FE, but once you move into the, like, thousands of FE price point, yeah, that's when it's getting very annoying. Yeah, I guess a lot of people are not playing this season anymore, and also... Also, a lot of people are buying unique items because crafting is uh, harder, so people just getting uh, legendary items, which means there's less of them on trade. Let's do the challenge. China is still a auction house? Hmm. Maybe. Reflect on your wrong in the torrents 
Let's try another one. Well, well let's take your trade first. Wait, did I equip the other one? Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh well. No, I think all of this, like, trade stuff and so on, it's uh, rumors. Who the fuck actually knows? If anything, Asia is definitely with us, but China might not be. But yeah, someone just said that apparently they answered that question and apparently it's still together, so I don't know. Price checking function is not real time and uses cash. Also, our service same trails. However, the price checking function is a not real time and uses a cash, causing a possible delay during actual purchases. I mean, that still doesn't explain the fact that there is only like one or two items of certain types on trade, right? Okay, there's no more uh, damage points I can go for. So I guess it's time to go for Warlock. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one. Let's try. I actually might swap to spiders pretty fast. So I think I'm gonna be able to sustain my command fairly soon. Like good enough cooldown recovery. I think it's not that hard to sustain your command. And spiders deal more damage, so. Yeah, my damage is still plenty enough. Ooh, 24. Even though it's like lower survival, I'm gonna equip it because it's 24 energy. So now I can uh, put on this and even this. Steamroll, steamroll. I have a lot of low level skills, so at this point I think I'm gonna remove all of them, because it's getting annoying. Uh, destroy, all, boom.
No chest. So if I find any weapons, like swords, with good energy, I also would equip it. So I'm kind of looking at items just to get energy. Like that's that should be your goal before reaching the maps at this point. Like between the story and the maps, the main thing is to just get as much energy on gear as possible. Uh, let's put one in here and extend the duration. Would be nice to have um auto loot. But I can't have it on this account yet. Or fuel. Yo, good morning.